Good day, class. I will now demonstrate to you how to work on your reflected ceiling plan with the use of your attached drawing by the use of your external reference command. Again, when you are starting with the blank drawing, always adjust the units into the same units used in the attached drawings that you will use as your base plan in your current file. This can be done by using your units command. Next is we'll attach our base plan by using the xref command. So type xr and press spacebar to make the external references palette appear. We will attach our base plan using our attach drawing icon in our palette and locate for the base plan within our standard file location dialog box. Once we selected the file, again, we have an option if you want to rescale our drawing or we can leave it as is. Once, once you're okay, you can just pre simply press okay on your dialog box and your drawings will now be attached. To see, if, to see your whole drawing or your whole attachment, you can use the zoom extend command. So type Z for the zoom command, press the spacebar, and type E for the extend sub options, and then press the spacebar. There are some preconditions of working with external references, especially when you are using the drawings as your base plan. So let us open our base plan first and edit its position. We should always make sure that the position of your base of our base plan is located at our point of origin, which is the coordinate zero zero, where our UCS icon is located. So you can select everything in your drawing by pressing Ctrl and A on your keyboard simultaneously. Then, we can move the object using our move command. <clears throat> so let's type M and press spacebar. And then let's move, let's move the lower leftmost corner of our drawing towards our point of origin. So for the displacement, simply type 0, comma, 0 which means it has a coordinate of 0 along the x-axis and a position of 0 along the y-axis. Simply press Enter or to move your drawing. Once you move your base plan, make sure to save the changes made by pressing Ctrl and S on your keyboard simultaneously. Let's go back to the current drawing that we are working on for our reflected ceiling plan. Once changes are made in the original file, you will notice that there will be an exclamation point icon on the right side of the name of the attached drawings within the palette. This indicates that the drawing needs to be reloaded since changes are made. So simply right click on the name and choose reload. You will notice that the position of the drawing is also changed since we made any changes on the original file. If you attach the same drawing in other files such as your section earlier, you will notice that changes will be made as well. I'm showing this just for an example. So let's continue on our external reference drawings and working on our reflected ceiling plan. Before we start drawing our ceiling, we should turn or freeze the unnecessary layers within our base plan. 
using the freeze layers command. Again, the shortcut for freeze layers is lay freeze or in short LAYFRZ or in phonetic alphabet Lima Alpha Yankee Foxtrot Romeo Zulu. So let's type LAYFRZ and press the spacebar. Then we'll freeze every layer and the remaining elements that are visible on our base plan should be the walls only once you're done we can start working on our ceiling but first we must indicate the lintel of our doors first so you can use line or you can simply use your line in drawing the lintel and offset them towards the alignment of your wall if you set your window seal with the same with the same layer as your window you can also draw the lintel of your window or the seal of your window manually Once you are done drawing your lintel, we will now assign layers for the lintel. Make sure to create layers for the lintel and our ceiling as well, as well as our lighting fixture. Make sure to set the necessary layers for, for the layers you created. So once you're done, we can assign layers for our lintel. Working on the flat ceiling plan is not that difficult. You can simply use the boundary creation to create your polyline for your ceiling boundary. The shortcut for the boundary creation is BO or in phonetic alphabet, Bravo Oscar. So let's type BO and press spacebar to execute the command. Upon the execution of this command, the boundary creation dialog box will appear. Make sure that the object type is set to polyline. So similar to your hatch, you can take points of the area that you wish to create a boundary. You will notice by clicking on this area, this will, will show the polyline that will be created as well as your other spaces. Once done, Simply, simple, simply press spacebar on your keyboard. 
the polylines for your ceiling are now created. We can now assign layers for our ceiling. We will now work on our cornices by offsetting using our offset command and offset them by the thickness you prefer or the size of your cornices. It's up to you how wide will be your cornice design. For the lighting fixture, we will create We will simply create our lighting fixture to indicate the position of our lamps. Once we create our lighting fixture, make sure to convert them into blocks. And, upon the creation of block, make sure to pick your point. You can create more than one lighting fixture. If you are using fluorescent light or fluorescent lamp, you can draw a rectangular lamp instead. When you're done creating your lighting fixture blocks, you are now we are now required to position our lamps. If we wish to create guidelines for the positioning of our lamps, we can do so by creating additional lines. Make sure that make sure to delete these lines after positioning your lighting fixture. Once you are done, make sure to assign layers for your lighting fixture. If you wish to include necessary tags, you can do so by using your annotating commands. If you want to include your dimensions, you can use your dimension commands. And that's how you do or how you work on your reflected ceiling plan with the use of the external references.